Hi, creator. Welcome to the Ishkai YouTube channel. Channel that brings you the creativity of the world graphic. If you are new here, kindly click on the subscription button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be the first person to always get updates from this channel. Thank. Good day guys, welcome back to the Ishkai YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing great. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be designing a church flyer design. So without wasting much of your time, let's get on to the business of today. So the first thing I have to do is to leave the size. The main size that is 1 to 80, 1 to 80. So that is the actual size we are using. So the next time to do right now is to click on my plus button, click from gallery. Then I'm going to where my image is, that is my background. So I'm going to click and up. So I'm going to select my background. So um, I think my background is all around it. So we're not going to be wasting much time here. So this is one of the background. So after putting it, the next thing you have to do is to click your relative size. Something like this. Exactly. Leave it like this. Don't touch it again. After that, the next thing you have to do is to click my plus button again. Click from the gallery. Go to recent. Go to wherever your um this stuff is. I'm so sorry. Back to my gallery. So I think I saved this one right now. So this actually. So uh, after that, just go to your left size again. Do the same thing. So can you see it? So the next app to the right now is to click on my opacity. Something like this is actually okay. So can you see it? So after that, the next time to do now is to um lock it again. After that, click from gallery again. Then I'm, I'm going to search for people praising God. So I think I should just use this one that I downloaded right yesterday instead of going too far. So you go back to your relative size again at the same thing. I if it is Photoshop you are using, it's very easy to add, to transform all this is transformation key. So the next step to do is to go to my opacity, then do something like this. So can you see it? So I'm going to bring it down around there. So shift it around there. So can you see it? Good. So you can see that everything is plumping. So what's next I'm going to do? Lock it like this. Good. So can you see that we are actually going forward? So the next time to do right now, so click on my gallery. Then I'm going to click download. So yeah, we are actually going to download now. So I'm going to click on this actually. Click on this actually. So after that, just position it here. Something like this. Good. So the next I'm going to do is to click on my gallery again. Then I'm going to click on this material. So after that, I'm going to place it. Just do something like this. Good. So just make sure it's actually set to so the next thing i'm going to do is to um don't press it click in your layer this is your layer this one this one click on it then don't press it move it to the back so you can actually see it now good so the next time to do right now so click is to just lock it first so you can actually work on this later so the next time to do is to click from gallery i'm clicking on download so i'm going to bring out what they call it um the church logo let us assume the church logo not actually this efficient flyer and this church is someone church, so I'm just using the um the logo for it. So I'm going to put it all around there. Then you can actually, you know me, for I love zoom my, zoom my work, so you can actually zoom the work. Good. Then you click on your plus button again. Click on test. Test. Good. Then you already know of the church, so I'm using the real name of the church, preservation flyer. Good. So. Next time to do right now is to shorten the name. Like I want to um to reduce the size. <laughs> so before reducing the size, I will have to go to my font, then change the font to something on this robot that as on a your bot for the church name is not actually a part of the font for the design. You know, the maximum font for design is 30 size. So we are actually on it. So next up to the right now is to go to my ally, change to justify. So justify so can you see it? Justify just change. Don't enable it, just change to justify it's actually change like that. So you can actually see like this. Good. Just do something like this. A bit small. Good. So then you place it here. Then you play this one. Actually, you do this one a little bit. Good. So you can you see it? Good. So you can see what you are doing. Actually, doing good. So can you see it now? It's actually plumping. So what the next I'm going to do right now? So I think I'm going to do something else, and uh, which is I'm going to um. Reduce this size actually first. Good.
good. So just let me show it is well set. So can you see it? Good. So we are actually on it. So um, let me just do something like this. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to lock it. Um, lock the both of them so that they won't disturb us. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on my text. Then I'm going to write fire in my body. Fire in my in my face. Good. So you are using white color for it. Actually, what I think is on white before. So let me change to white. It's not on white. Sometimes it used to be ash. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my font. So I'm going to choose another font for it, and um, which is actually Ar Ar Arabic, Arabic or Ar Arabic. Yeah, good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place it here. Good. So can you see it? So I'm going to reduce it a little bit. Fire in my bone. Reduce it a little bit. fire in my bones so i'm going to write bones now so let's as i want to write bones give it capital letter so you know the the same um the same font just duplicate it then you write so let it be aligned so you can actually read this a little bit so you can zoom it then you can actually do it well so let's do let's go on that good so what the next i'm going to do the next i'm going to do is change the color of this bone to something this actually so you can see the color code the fcbdo good so after that the next time i'm going to go is to go to my 3d test my 3d test enable the 3d test so can you see it change change um the the um actually it's okay this change it to 20 after 20 go to your this one this enable it so can you see it now good so this enable the stuff after you disable it, you go to your what they call it to your stroke. Give a stroke of this actually. This actually. So then you actually good. So can you see it now? So we are actually moving for so can actually move it to the back a little bit. To the back a little bit. So can you see it now? After that, the next time we should just click on my test, then we to click on present. Present good, just leave it in small letter like this. So after that, you go to your um to your to um to your font, you change the font to something simple font. Actually use uh, outfit semi board or should I use outfit medium? Outfit medium is actually okay. Then next I'm going to do two bring it small a little bit good. So after that you go back to your align um your spacing, then you give it spacing. Think actually okay like this so it's not be too much so make sure it is aligned with it good so after that zoom back to see what we are actually doing so can you actually see it that you're actually moving forward so the next I'm going to do is to click on my gallery then I'm going to my download so I'm going to bring out an, an image of a pastor so I'm going to so then I'm going to um go so this is a pastor good so i'm going to bring it in so after bringing it in, i'm going to put it here good so can you actually see it so this i'm going to do is to click on my plus button again so i'm going to bring in another pastor so the past the image should be around there so it should be in my canva um where's my canva canva present but the image good canva so let's have zoom this is the um this is the pastor image I'm ready to pass the image. I think it should be around there. The pastor image should be around there. Wow. Good. Sorry for that. So actually, the pastor image. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my 3D rotate. 
then you choose the on y axis so the choose on y axis it will change to this then the next i'm going to do is to just um place it around there so move this to around there let's move it up a little bit so can you see that everything is aligned and everything is plumping so what i'm going to do next i'm going to do is to click on my gallery then i'm going to click from present i'm going to, to click on my shadow picks so this is actually the shadow i'm going to use for it so after that i'm going to change the color of the shadow to this color this color um actually this color is not pure black the color is 241d24 that is the color code so i'm going to what i'm going to increase i'm going to put it there so after that i'm going to duplicate it good so can you see i've duplicated it so i have to put it around there so can you see it no good so what the next i'm going to do i'm going to lock them Look them actually everything is actually plumping so the next i'm going to do now um so click on my um shape click on this then after you click on this you give it this um this actually color so you're going to make this you know, you're going to um to what you're going to zoom it then you place it here don't um don't drag it good so I'll make it to be the original size so what's next i'm going to do now the next i'm going to do is to write my post so i'm going to click on this text now i'm going to write post post in capital letter it's good so i'm going to font to change the font to answer answer font so this is the font answer font good so after that you come here then you place it here good so you can actually position it here very well. Good. So what next I'm going to do? The next I'm going to do is to click on my text. I'm going to click on. I'm going to write the pastor name. I, I write um pastor. Oh no, sorry. Pastor um Dewale Dewala Oyenika. So let's assume this is the name of the pastor. Good. So now I'm going to my font. I'm going to change the font to no. I use a strap for it. Sorry, semi um outfit. So then I'm going to reduce the, this stuff. I'm going to reduce it very well. After reducing it, you go to your align. Change it to this align. Good. So for that, I'm going to place it here. So I'm going to place it here. Good. So the next I'm going to do now is to change this host to black color or actually this color. Good. So can you see it? the color we gave it? So after that, next I'm going to do is to click on my shape. I'm going to change the shape to this actually. So let me zoom it back to work on the shape. So now I'm going to reduce the shape. Then turn it like this. Good. So can you see it? Good. For that, reduce it again. No. Or oh, why not? Let's play this. So zoom your work back. Move it here. Zoom your work very well. Zoom it good. Then do something like this. Do this small small. After you do that, finish. Do this small small. Then you place it where here. Then you give it what? Actually, this color. So can you see it now? So we're actually moving forward so can you see it is actually plumping so what is next i'm going to do the next thing i'm going to do nice so just go to my layer i'm com i'm going to copy the host duplicate it then i'm going to write guest guest so i'm going to give it this so i'm going to move it move it to this place so after moving to that place go to my color change the color to this actually so can you see it? So now you can zoom your work. You can actually duplicate. Um, go to your layer. Go to your layer. Duplicate this past the wall. Then you bring it down here. Then you can zoom your work now. So after you zoom in it, after zoom in it, you build this one down a little bit. Then you write. Guess Francis. Francis. I assume the name of the guy is Francisco.
France, Francisco, Cadet. Good. So change the capital letter. Already? Yeah. Good. So after that, next time I'm going to do now is to swim it back there. So can you see it? So it's too far from the guy. So what am I going to do? I'm going to move it up a little bit. Good. So let's check it again. So can you see it now? So what am I going to do now? Next I'm going to do now is to click on my shape. Then I'm going to give it actually this. So now I'm going to redo this one very well. Reduce it. Turn it like this. Good. Use this very well like this. Then zoom back your work. Zoom it back so that you can actually come here. Then place it. Zoom it again. Good. So let me use the position key to what? To bring it up a little bit. So I think it's not okay. Okay, it's okay like this. So let's zoom back to see what we just did. So can you see it? Good, we are actually moving forward. So the next thing we are going to do now is to click my shape, give it this actually, then you are going to place it here. Then start we are actually moving forward. Good. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on my shape again, give it this actually, then give it this color. Um, this color actually. So after that, so you come here and then place it here. Good. So we can actually zoom it they can actually work on it now so just place it around here then go to your layer move it to the back of this one actually so after moving to the back of that one the next thing i'm going to do is to go to my opacity i'm going to reduce the opacity to something like this so can you see it good so after reducing it just do something like this good after reducing it go back to your shape again give this then you can reduce your opacity Go, go down, increase the stroke, then you give it this color actually. Not this color actually. So it can you see? Oh, sorry. So I'm going to do this very well now. Good. So I'm going to. So move it to the back of this one actually. Good. So I love this one. So after that, just. Something like this. Good, everything is probably so. What I'm going to do now is next, I'm going to do a click on my test, then I'm going to write time. Time, good. So I'm going to give it this color. We are actually giving it this color actually. So after that, I'm going to my font. Um, to front actually of the font, go to my font. Then I'm going to give it the same energy I'll be giving it, like the same submit outfit. So come here, reduce it, then you give to it here time. So you can actually use position key to position it very well. So you can see it now. It's plumping. Good. So what next I'm going to do now? So the next I'm going to do now is to just to write um my time, which is 9 p.m. So I'm going to copy this one. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to write um 9 9 p.m. Okay. 9 Oh, oh pm good give the capital letter then you come here then you place it here so you give it this color actually so now there's a mistake here so what is my mistake so the mistake now is to move this one up a little bit so um this time so i'm going to move this this and this time up a little bit so i'm going to place it where so Thing is actually okay like this so let's go so the next time now i'm going to play the time here so can you see right now it's actually okay like this good so after that the next time i'm going to do okay let me to duplicate it then i'm going to write prompt prompt good give the capital letter 
then after that you go to your um to your color you change it to white color then you reduce it to be the same size of this so let's actually do this one right now so you, so you place it there to make sure it is the same as usual so good so let's check what we just did right now so can you actually see that it is okay we're actually moving forward so what the next i'm going to do the next i'm going to do is to click on a shape something like this then give it green color something like this actually okay something like this actually okay then move it here good so we can actually move this um this shape of the pastor on the pastor we can actually move it up a little bit host on this and this so move it up a little bit good good actually, so what is this i'm going to do now we've not written the date we've not written the um the the year so the next i'm going to do is to click on my shape now sorry not ship actually i'm going to click on my plus button click on gallery so after you click from gallery so reason i'm going to give it on this so i'm going to do something like this good so we're actually good to go so after that the next i'm going to do is to what is to do this stuff like this do this stuff like this so can you see it now what am i going to do i'm going to reduce it again and again and again i'm going to place it here reduce it again and again good so i'm going to place it here do something like this i'm going to place it here so after placing it here the next i'm going to do now is to go to my what no duplicate this one actually duplicate this one way good for so just leave this one aside here yeah? after that you go to, to your texture then you give it a texture so let's assume the texture like gave it the texture like gave it so i'm going to crop it a little bit like this good so i'm going to place it there so you can you actually see it now good so we're actually moving forward good so after that you duplicate this one again oh no go back don't duplicate it for yet Go back to your stroke now. Go to your stroke. Enable your stroke. Give me this actually. Do something like this. Actually, it's okay like this. So after that, the next I'm going to do now is to go to here, duplicate it, then place it here. So let it be aligned. So can you see it? It is aligned. So I think we are actually go with one again. So can you see it now? So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my texture right now. Give it another another one. So let's assume I actually give it this one. So this one actually what I gave it. So can you see it doesn't just plump in? So now we are on this one. What are we going to do? This one I'm going to um to just to font now. So it's at the font now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to increase it a little bit. You know, something like this. Then drag it down something like this. So let's check what if you are actually good to go. So I think it remains small, so we're going to increase it a little bit. So after that, I'm going to place it there. So let it be exactly like this. So can you see it? After that, you go to your color, give it color, give it this color. I think this actual color or this color. So after that, you go to your opacity, then you reduce it. So can you see it now? So we actually good to go so it's okay like this so what the next i'm going to do just lock everyone lock every um just lock it or leave it so the next i'm going to do is to click on my shape so after clicking on my shape give it this one actually so you give this one actually just come here come here like this just place it on top like this so after placing it um go back to your disk so we are not concerned with this one actually the first one so just click on it then mesh this one together after making it together I saw you want to merge, select OK. So after matching it together, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go to my color, um, remove erase color. Can you see? Erase color. So erase your color like this. So can you actually see it? But I think um, I'm giving it too much. Or oh, you look like that. I think it's actually looking like this. So what are we going to do? Do something like this. Then you lock it. So can you see it? Now, what are we going to do next? So this the last one and not the least. So just go to here. Give it this one actually or this one actually good 
then you come here you reduce it very well then you place it here good so can you see it now you are actually moving forward what i'm going to do now just place it away good so the next thing i'm going to do now is to click on it duplicate it again go to my edit um do something like this go to my stroke increase the stroke a little bit i think two is okay then you give it white color stroke so i think i'm going to re um increase it a little bit let me go back It's actually okay so i can zoom the work to see what we can actually do here so everything will be plumping so just move it up a little bit like this so can you see it it is okay so i think not okay so can you see it now so what the next i'm going to do now is just to move it a little bit from here from the edge a little bit from the edge good so can you see it now so what i'm going to do now so i'm going to click on test then i'm going to write friday Friday good. So that is my Friday. I'm going to I'm going to my font. Then I'm going to change it to actually this one. Um so we both actually what we're using since. So just place it here. So after that, duplicate the Friday. Then you write um let's assume 22nd. 22nd of December 2022 so let's assume this is, this is it so I'm going to reduce it again just like the first one good so I'm going to place it like this go to your color change it to this good so it's actually okay like this so you can see that we are actually gone so this is how i got this um uh, this one so the next time to do is to click on this my friday then i'm going to write the location of this of the stuff so i'm going to write at um at city do i write any of your location of it at cities at city state at city state mandela Mandela Town, Mandela Event, um, South Africa. Good. Give it this. Good. Then come here. Do something like this. Then put it here. Then go to your lazy position. Change to the middle. You can move it up a little bit. Good. Then go to your color. Change the color to any of your choice on this. Sorry, not actually that this actually so you can see it so we are actually done with this so don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more of this something like this and don't forget to share this video and don't forget to like thank you so you cannot save your work as a project and save it as the image also png and also as not and also as um and also as what also not ultra so you save it to your gallery so thanks for watching up to now Hey creator, thanks for watching up till now. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.